If you notice this white heron looking bird in southeastern New York, you might think at first that it was a great egret. However, it looks a bit small for a great egret, and uh, the legs are not black, and the bill is not yellow. And so you might say, even though I expect great egrets in this part of uh, the state, um, perhaps it isn't that. You might then think that it is a snowy egret, which are smaller. However, the legs of snowy egrets are also black, although the feet are yellow. The bill of snowy egrets is black, and snowy egrets typically have uh, plumes of feathers uh, coming from their head, and so this doesn't seem to be a snowy egret. Cattle egrets are small egrets, although they might be a bit too small for this one, and they have a short yellow bill. And so this doesn't seem to match any of the heron-like egrets that you might think. And then you realize, oh wait, there is another species to consider, the little blue heron. Little blue herons, at, when they are mature, are a slate blue in color. So that's perhaps why you might not think of them immediately. Also, they are only rarely seen in this part of the country. They uh, live more in the southern U.S., the southeast coast, and Latin America going down to central South America. However, when you notice that uh, the legs are a dull olive in color, but especially the bill is a pale blue color, that indicates that this is a, uh, a little blue heron, which have white colors in their first year, uh, given that they are close relatives of snowy egrets. They feed on small fish, amphibians, and aquatic invertebrates as they wade in shallow water, sometimes up to uh, their bellies. Their numbers were decimated by hunting a century ago, and their numbers, uh, while they have rebounded, are still declining, and some list as a species of high concern in the United States. Climate change may actually allow them to spread their range further north, and so uh, visits of immature great blue herons in southeastern New York may become more common.